A historic decision from the Supreme Court that will likely have an effect on colleges right here in Middle Tennessee. The majority of justices ruling to end affirmative action, which has allowed colleges to consider race as a factor in admissions for more than 40 years. Some students and university leaders who talked with News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio say it's already having an impact and they're concerned about diversity in higher education. The college education process as we know it will soon change drastically. Six to three and split along party lines, the Supreme Court voted that affirmative action policies at Harvard University and the University of North Carolina are unconstitutional, meaning colleges and universities won't be able to consider race as a factor for admission any longer. One of the things I think that I get from the ruling by the Supreme Court is that they believe that we now live in a post-racial a country where race doesn't matter anymore. But unfortunately, that's not true. The decision is being met with pushback from students and educators who come from historically disadvantaged communities, including president and CEO of Meharry Medical College, Dr. James Hildreth. As a 66-year-old black man, I can say that things have gotten better, but their racism is still real. It impacts everything in our society. Uh, it shapes our experiences as individuals. And so to me, it's very shocking that the court would just ignore the fact that we are where we are. The ruling is expected to impact students at schools with competitive acceptance rates. For sophomore Juan Escamilla Vargas at Belmont, his worry is that fewer students of color will be admitted next year. I definitely do feel sometimes out of place. And I feel that with this decision, it's going to make me feel a little bit more out of place with potentially um, admission classes within the following years becoming more and more white. He says oftentimes affirmative action is misunderstood. People think that um, people get handouts and stuff, and that's not the case. People have worked their butts off to get here, um, and to kind of have that happen is just not, it's just, this is not a good day. The Supreme Court did say that schools can consider an applicant's discussion of how race impacted his or her life, be it through discrimination, inspiration, or otherwise. Advocates hope this will lead to schools placing more weight on different factors that will still guarantee a diverse student body. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5.